Use power finishing tools to prepare a surface for finishing. Power finishing tools include belt sanders, finishing sanders, and pad sanders. The parts of a belt sander are the motor housing, the sanding belt, the handle, the vacuum bag, and the trigger switch. Use a belt sander for rough sanding, where a smooth finish is not required. Use the belt sander safely. Here are some special rules. Hold the belt sander securely to prevent it from taking off. Always sand in the direction of the grain. Let the sander stop completely before setting it down. Keep the sander moving to prevent gouging the surface. Replace the sanding belt in the correct rotation so the arrow of the belt is in line with the direction of the motor. Use a coarse grit sanding belt for removing more material from the surface and a fine grit belt to achieve a smoother finish. Use a finishing sander to sand surfaces to a smooth finish. Finishing sanders use standard abrasive papers which must be cut to fit the sander. The finishing sander has these main parts. The handle, the motor housing, the front clip, the sanding pad, the power switch, and the rear clip. Finishing sanders have two different motions. Straight line, which moves forward and backward in very short strokes, and orbital which oscillates in small circles. Always use straight line sanders with the direction of the grain of the wood. It's best to use orbital sanders with the grain of the wood, but it's not as critical. Use power finishing tools safely. Here are some special rules. Wear personal protective equipment. Disconnect the cord before you replace the sandpaper. Be sure all nails, staples, or screws are set below the surface of the wood. Keep the electrical cord away from the sanding area. Lift the sander away from the work before turning off the motor. Wait until the motor has stopped before placing the sander on the workbench. You have finished this module. Stop the video now and go to the practice exercises in the workbook.